Today we'll be fishing North Twin Lake on the Colville Reservation in Washington. Oh, had a hit when I sped up. All right, and you got on the... Yeah, there's a fish. There's a fish. On a... Oh, jumper. Nice. Got a good jump in there too, that was cool. Oh, yeah, interesting, as soon as I sped up to number two. Yeah, wow. Trolling today, we discovered that it was pretty effective to slow down and then speed up, and most of the time they hit when we were speeding up. Well, he's coming right in. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Pretty cool, yeah. Just started out trolling this green woolly bugger. Kind of olive and brown. Got a nice tail on it, a little bead head. Trolling on a full sinking line. And I was trolling pretty slow for a while and then picked up speed and that's when it hit. So maybe a little faster trolling, it's gonna work. Cool. All right. We started off this beautiful day of fishing, just trolling around the lake, just kicking back, having a great time. Oh, his fish hit. Another hit? Yeah, the tag is tapping it. There He's we go. He's got a fish. Oh, nice. Oh boy. Run. Nice. Yeah. That looks bigger than the last Ooh, one. I think it is a little bigger. Nice run. That was cool. The setup I was using to catch quite a few of these fish trolling was an eight foot, five weight fly rod and a full sinking line, good amount of leader. And then this was a woolly bugger, a bead head, olive woolly bugger. Caught several fish today. Steve, you're not gonna hog all the fish today, are you? I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Nice. Oh. Awesome. Wow, this guy's a fighter. It's a jumper and a fighter. Yeah. Couple awesome runs. Oh yeah, awesome. Beautiful. Woo, fat. Look at that thing. Just chunky. There it goes. Awesome. That thing jumped four or five times, maybe? Yeah. Beautiful I don't know if fish. any of them got on camera, but that was really cool. Hard fighting fish, took a couple good runs, taken out line. Awesome. Well, we both tagged a fish within yeah. 10 seconds there. <laughs> oh, there we go. That was not a nibble. Oh. To catch up to it. It's going right at the boat. Either that or I don't have it anymore. Yeah, I still have, nope. I don't have it anymore. I certainly think we can troll along that uh, drop off a little yeah. bit more. And we can look for fish and see. Mm -hmm. You could troll back and forth. I could pull in and see if I can catch you and crunch. Whoa, there we go. There we go. Oh, There's yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Ah, it's coming. I think I lost him. Spit the hook. Oh, that was cool. Darn though. it. Yeah. Today is just one of those days where we hooked a ton of fish. I landed a few, but we lost several others. It's just one of those days. Well, if you want to troll around, I can anchor up and do a little bit of either chronomid or, yeah. um, you know, try a little bit of everything. And sure. See. There she is. All right, I finally got a fish on and uh, jumped a few times. Okay, I'm trying to keep control of this because I've had so many fish on. Whoa, whoa, my. That's a tail wagon crazy fish. Okay, that's a good rainbow. Awesome. This guy's a spunky. I was trolling around for a long time and finally this guy hit right here. It's a beautiful bow. Oh man, that was a nice fish. Um, just a heck of a fighter. I've been a little frustrated today because I've hooked so many fish but I haven't been able to land any of them. And uh, finally got that one so it's pretty exciting. There it is. 
Oh! Woo. Today the wind picked up, so we decided to do a little bit of bloodworm fishing. And uh, that usually helps when you get more wind, you get a little more motion to the, to the fly and seems to attract the fish better. Awesome. Yeah, that's good news. It's the first fish in quite a while, so. Yeah. Take it. That was pretty cool how it jumped, too. All right. Awesome. Yeah, that's good news. Yeah. On the crowd, Hopefully that's we can get great. more of those. Nice little rainbow. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Just weighed anchor throughout my line, and finally a fish took it. Today what we're using is a nine foot five weight fly rod and a leader floating line down to this uh, blood worm. And you can see it's tied on with a loop knot to give it more lifelike action. Yep. Woo! Nice! Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. <laughs> wow, look at that go. Wow. <laughs> Woo. Love that. Oh man, I can see him shining. It's like a down huge there. fish. Yeah. That's awesome. Holy smokes. Steve continued to fight the large rainbow, but it was holding its ground. Doesn't want to come up. Come on, baby. Get to me. It's football shaped hog. Good job, awesome. Thank you. It's football. Whew. Awesome, back down in the depths. That's pretty cool. We've been working here pretty hard. Gotten quite a few hits. Ladin's gotten three or four hits, but we haven't been able to hook them up. Finally got that one hooked. It's a nice fish. Got him. Wow. It's another nice one. That was weird. My indicator started moving sideways before, before it actually went down. Gone. Is there something you're not telling me over there? Ladin, I think the reason you're not catching many fish is that indicator's a little big. Whatever, Steve. North Twin Lake is an excellent bass lake also. When we were fishing it, we ran into a couple bass anglers that had a huge largemouth bass. There's one. All right, nice. Yep. I stripped my line to keep pressure on the fish. All Ooh. right, jumper. All right. Got it. Oh, that's nice. I finally hooked into one. I watched Steve catch fish after fish down there and finally had an opportunity and it paid off a beautiful 14, 15 inch rainbow. Another great lake on the Colville Reservation is Omac Lake. It is known for its large Lahontan cutthroat. There's one. Nice. Nice. This is a nice fish. Yeah, it is. It's a big, heavy one. It's a good fighter, too. One of those bulldog fighters. Yeah, I'm unplugged. Steve could easily see the large Lahontan cutthroat in the clear water. Awesome. It's one of the best fights I've had so far. Boy, it's a beautiful fish. On that uh, damsel, or dragonfly nymph. Nice. Probably a three pounder. Fought really well. 
Maybe it was just because he was down so deep, but really good fight. Really cool seeing the, the, with the sun out, you can see into the water. You can see the fish all the way down, 10 feet down, coming up. It's just beautiful. The tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters, located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. So, as we've noticed, the last few years in this great Northwest, we've had a lot of high water. This is stuff that whitewater guides would look at us and say, yeah, this is common knowledge. But it's something as fishermen we really need to take into consideration because it does save lives. And, you know, this is July right now, and this water is still very high and colder than normal. And so you just never know. PFDs are kind of a must-have around here. You know, you at least want them in the boat and accessible, not locked away. So if you need them, you can grab them. You know, in, a, in flat water like this, even a little bit more rapidy, I am going to position myself with my feet downstream, my head above water so I can see, and then I can backstroke to slow myself down and push off rocks and obstacles with your feet. The only time you don't want to go feet first is if you're coming into a log jam, a riprap bank, or something you can actually get wedged in. You don't want your feet to get wedged in the branches and, and pin you, so you actually want to go into logs and riprap and junk in the river, hands first to climb up on. But for the rest of the time, feet first to push off rocks and keep your head up, wear your we'll PFD, you. and then we'll backstroke, just try and work to shore. You know, the first thing you do when you fall in is try and get to shore. If you can't do that, then you go to plan B, which is floating on your back, pushing off with your feet until you can get out. Now we head back to North Twin for some evening fishing. Oh boy, big fish behind me. Mm-hmm. Got to think there's one right there underneath it, ready to bite. They're all around for sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Nice. There it is. <laughs> it feels like another big fish. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know if it is or not, but... Well, if it is, you probably won't land it. So. Yeah, that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fish confidence is not very high right now. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm telling you, these uh, twin lakes up here in the Colville Reservation are phenomenal fisheries, and I don't, I don't know if I even heard of it until we found this place and it's just a wonderful place to fish and it's not crowded they, they stock a lot of nice fish in here and i have one on the end of my line right now oh yeah it's a gorgeous fish Yeah. yeah, he's in the net. <laughs> Finally, look at that guy. I mean, that's a gorgeous fish. It is. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Awesome. I tell you, we started off this morning just on fire fishing wise, and then uh, kind of cooled down. We got into torrential rain. Sun popped up. Fish are biting again. It's a uh, carpe diem. <laughs> and don't ask what carpe diem is. I hate it when you ask. It just, it sounds good. It sounds intelligent. <laughs> Holy smokes. It looks about the same size as the last one. That's awesome. Which are very nice fish. Holy smokes. Oh yeah, it's, it's big. Hmm. It's big fish. That's pretty awesome. Hmm. Gosh, he's, again, he's right here. It's a patience game. Be patient. Hmm. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good heavens. I need to learn how to net fish. I want it bad. Oh, nice. good heavens. That's a big trout. <laughs> oh, big trout. <laughs> One thing that's really nice about barbless hooks is, uh, you know, the, the, the hook just pops right out of the fish and it, you, it, you don't have to really work hard to get it out. Just last couple of fish I've caught, the fly has actually popped out right in the net. So that's a good thing about barbless hooks. Look at that. Nice. Gorgeous bow. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> Off into the depths. <laughs> That's All just unbelievable, right. isn't it? Yeah, it's unbelievable. We had a nice rally here in the evening. Um, again, this is very quickly becoming a favorite lake of mine. Uh, we were really surprised at the quality of fishing here, and uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. The sun was going down behind the hills as I continued to cast. The water was nice and calm, and I could easily see my indicator in the evening light. Oh, there it goes. Shoot. Got him? Oh, yeah. Nice. Yes, indeed. Yeah, it's a little smaller fish. Right, that's still a nice fish in my book. Yeah, another nice fish. That one's probably goes 12, 14 inches, but I'm telling you, that's a nice trout in my book, and it's a lot of fun, and it's kind of relaxing finally to catch something <laughs> a little smaller. And not as much pressure, but it was fun, a lot of fun. Awesome. They're close, lad. One yep. jumped right by it. There. You called that right. Awesome. Again. Steve is like the amazing Kreskin. <laughs> well, it's nice when they do what they're supposed to. Gosh. It's coming at you, huh? Another fish. Little 10 incher. Huh. That's all right. Yeah. Still a lot of fun. All right. Another good little fish. Yep. Well, it's been a great day here. I hope you guys enjoyed this show from North Twin Lake here on the Colville Reservation. Please join us next week for more Fishing with Ladin. Be sure to join us next time for more Fishing with Ladin, because we're having fun catching fish. <laughs>